Hey, what is up guys? This is Jamie from Model Kit Central and today I'm going to be doing another Gundam model unboxing video. Now, I thought, hey, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are pretty damn bored of my I've got a package video, so I thought, hey, I'll just unbox one of my Gunpla model kits just because it's a change of pace, just so you guys don't get too bored. So, anywho, enough of my babbling, let's get on with the actual unboxing video. So, before we actually get into the contents of the box, let's take a look around the box. So, as you can see for the front cover, we have the pretty standard real grade design. Um, the box art is consistent of the large head of the Freedom Gundam. Uh, which looks pretty intricate, looks pretty accurate, looks nice. Then you have this um, CGI image of the real grey Freedom Gundam, which looks pretty damn cool. Um, then you've got RG, Excitement Embodied, the Bandai logo down here, the um, seal of authenticity to, um, to prove that it has been authenticated that it is a part of the Gundam Seed model kit line and then you have the pretty standard stuff Freedom Gundam Zaft Mobile Suit ZGMF-X10A um, and it's Bandai 2011 made in Japan and then you have just the common you know text of uh, what real grade is and all the you know mumbo jumbo they like to talk about on here so i guess if you guys really want to read what that says go right ahead but if any of you guys own real grade kits you guys don't need to read that because it's pretty much on every real grade box so yeah and that's pretty much it for the front cover of the box so taking a look at the side you can see the same head photo on the side of the box um, moving along we have the advanced MS joints which is the uh, internal frame of the Freedom Gunnam looks pretty nice um, then we actually have it on the actual frame the tree how it's cut off then some gimmicks that this guy can pull off so like he's got the uh, cockpit opening panel then he's got the uh, abdomen joint there uh, the separating blue joint from the wings uh, and then you get some decals which are some uh, details for like the joints of the elbows and then just some marking stickers and stuff of that nature and then you've got some words here which I can't read because I'm not Japanese and then on this side here you have um, a straight build out of the box um, pretty much without any paint but with all the decals and stuff applied so kind of gives you a good look at what you'll be getting from this kit uh, without having to apply any paint so yeah looks pretty nice then on this side you have the website which they um, are advertising so www.bandaihobby.net or www.gunnam.info so you can visit either one of those websites uh, which is looking pretty good. It's the fifth real grade in the line. Um, real grade, excitement embodied. And then you've got the Bandai logo down here. And then you've got the, uh, I believe this is the batch number or the serial number. I don't know. Either one, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% though. Then you've got the full burst mode pose that this guy can pull off. Um, you can have it mounted with the double beam saber. Then you've got the rear view, and then you've got um, different um, like features that this kit has. So, yeah. Looks pretty cool, I guess. And then here you've just got some copyright, um, warning hazards and stuff. QR code for anyone who has um, a smartphone, so you can use that. I'm not sure if it works via video, but you can give it a try if you must. And then you got the price here with the barcode, so 2,500 yen. So it's not too bad. And then on this side, pretty much the same as the other side, but it's got the price with the batch number or serial number or whatever it is. So anywho, that is pretty much it for the actual box itself. Let's take a look at the content of the of the actual model itself. So before we actually look at the contents. Let's look at the sides. So as you can see here, we have the high grade 1 to 144 scale, 
which was, I'm going to be, be really honest with you, was fairly, fairly dreadful. So let's pretend that didn't exist. Then you have the non-scale SD Freedom Gundam, which again was also very dreadful. Let's pretend that never existed either. Then on this side you have Gunpla, made in Japan. Uh, you got the two websites that they recommend you go on to if you really must. They're right there, so... Yep. And then on this side you have the Master Grade Freedom Gundam, which is very, very, very bad. Uh, I have seen the model, um, it has issues and really needs a version 2.0, come on Bandai, give us a version 2.0, it deserves it, it needs it. Um, and then you got the Perfect Grade line which has the Perfect Grade Strike Freedom and the Perfect Grade Strike which are two I really want, but I have yet got the money for them, so maybe in the future, maybe in the future. So anywho, let's get on to the actual parts of this model, so we have the sea tree I believe yes the sea tree which is mostly just the internal frame pieces from what I can tell you got this nice big sheet of decals or stickers marking stickers whatever they are so you can apply those if you want I probably won't but hey who knows and then red parts just you know consistent of the shields the shield parts and then just extra detailing parts for like the cannons, the chest, um, the shoulders, the crotch, and um, I think the head crest as well here, uh, along with some other bits. And then for the grey parts you just have like the beam rifles and stuff. So yeah, pretty standard stuff from what I can tell. So yeah. Then for the next baggie we have two trees. One with the advanced MS joints, which are the intricate uh, frame for the real grades, what makes this real grade possible. Uh, look pretty complex in terms of construction. I would hate to be putting that together myself, but hey, you know, someone had to go through the trouble of doing that for us. And then on this side, you have just the multicolor tree. And I believe this is the A tree as well. Yes, this is the A tree. It's got the majority of the parts for the wings. And then you've got the clear parts here, which are for the eyes and the scope for the beam rifle. Um, most parts for the body, um, the shield. And then on this side, you've got more parts for the body. And then you've got some for the rail cannons on the side skirts. And then you've got the V fin here as well. Parts of the V fin anyway. So yeah, again, pretty standard. Then... You got this baggie which contains two trees, which has the trees for the wings, the blue sections, which is for the wings and the feet. And then on this side, you have the white tree, which has parts for the uh, cannons for the wings and parts of the armor for the sides of the legs and some um, manipulator backhand covers and stuff. So yeah. And you got some ankle parts as well and the beam saber. Looks pretty standard. Then for this tree we have three trees rather than uh, rather than the two. So we have the beam saber tree. Did I say tree for the to uh, describe the bag? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in this baggie there are three trees. So one tree for the beam sabers, which are 1 to 100 scale beam sabers. Uh, might be a bit big for a 1 to 144 scale, but mm, I'll take them. Uh, then you got the white tree in the back there, which is mainly for the leg armor pieces. Uh, and some of the arm pieces and the head. And some of the shoulders, I believe, from what I can tell. And the back skirt. And then on the actual grey tree here, you have mostly the major sections for the um, manipulators, the wings, uh, the rail cannons, and all that good stuff, really. Just the frames of them anyway. So, yeah. Again, pretty standard. And then we have the last bag, which contains two trees. Again, you get another blue tree here, which is pretty much the same as the other one. Uh, it has the wing sections here, has the feet sections, and just more stuff. And then you got the abdomen section here. And then you got the white tree here, which is just consistent of the majority of the white armor parts. And I believe this is the last of the armor parts. So yeah. 
Looking pretty nice. Pretty good. And then, down the bottom, we have a manual. Now, if you've built Gunpla before, you'll pretty much be aware of what you're going to come across in this. Pretty much the standard Gunpla instruction manual. So you just get like the overall look at what you'll be building, which steps they are, and then you just have some um, instructions, how to assemble it, and just little tips on what you can do. Um, then you got like the checklist just in case you guys need to check whether like you've got everything um, Then you've got the um, Freedom gun itself uh, talking about the advanced MS joints realistic decals And then you start off with the ankles and work your way up. So that is pretty good So yeah, this would be a couple hours of fun. I'm pretty sure uh, if you're a big fan of the Freedom Gundam. I'm not a very big fan, but I got this because, well, I kind of needed another one anyway. Because my other one is pretty badly damaged. So, it's just a good idea that I have another one. So, yeah. And you also have the uh, missing parts order form as well, which can only be used in Japan, I'm afraid. So, yeah. If you live in the US or the UK like I do, you're out of luck. And then on the back you've got like the decal um, instruction manual so you can basically just uh, put the decals wherever they are indicating them. So yeah, but looking pretty standard and that's pretty much it guys. That is the unboxing for the Real Great Freedom Gunnam. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed and there will be more Gundam model unboxing videos so make sure you guys keep your eyes out for that. So this is Jamie from Model Kit Central. Signing out.